New video shows Jester, an El Cajon police canine, as he continues recovering after being stabbed in the face during an incident last week. As ABC 10 News reporter Michael Chen shows us how his trip to the animal ER ended up helping another dog in distress in a story that's positively San Diego. This was the scene in the early evening hours last Wednesday. Nine-year-old Jester, the El Cajon police canine, being operated on at an emergency animal hospital after being stabbed in the head during an encounter with a man suspected of slashing tires. A week later, the Belgian Malinois, still healing, visited police headquarters. This video recorded by his handler. Hi, buddy. You want to go home? <laughs> oh, yeah. Before heading home. He's... Uh, being a typical Malinois running around. Sergeant Michael Murphy, who heads the El Cajon Canine Officers Association, says Jester's recovery is going well. The best case scenario, he's doing well. Jester is no stranger to the spotlight. His exploits with his previous handler, namely these funny hats, made him a social media star with more than 120,000 Instagram followers. Years later, more attention following Jester because of what else was unfolding in the animal ER. Everything happens for a reason, I believe so. As Chester was recovering, his handler, Sergeant Murphy, and another handler noticed a two-year-old German Shepherd named Samson in the room, struggling from a rattlesnake bite. His litter mate was also bitten, though she was in much better shape. All the different things that come up with a rattlesnake bite that they weren't sure that they would be able to pay for everything. So we looked at each other and without even thinking said, oh, we'll cover that cost for that second dog. The Canine Officers Association, which usually covers medical costs for retired police dogs, decided to cover Samson's $1,300 bill. Knowing that these people had to make a hard choice of maybe not doing all the services, we wanted to take that hard decision away from them, just like we do for our officers here. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. So happy both dogs were on the road to recovery. In a Facebook post, Samson's owners called the group's actions an unbelievable blessing. As for Jester, he was due to retire in a few months. We're told he will likely come back just in time for his well-earned send-off.